All right, Woodhounds, welcome back to the Back 40 Firewood channel. In my last video, you saw me go out to my neighbors and just did a little scouting, did a little wood hounding, check to see what all he had for wood available as firewood, either down on the ground or standing dead ready to come down. Well, I had mentioned in that video how earlier um, he had called me up and I went up there and just cleaned up one little tree that he had pulled down in his yard. And that, oh, we got some friends coming to the wood yard again. Hey. <laughs> so anyway, so that tree is right here on this pallet. Everything I got out of that tree on the pallet right there. <clears throat> it's about, the biggest is about eight to 10 inch diameter. So I'm thinking that stuff is gonna be close to ready to burn. If not, you know, like some of the smaller stuff probably will be. So I'm thinking I could potentially use this for the roadside stand here in the next month or so. So what I wanna do today is I'm just gonna split this stuff into the shelter right here because then that way it's out of the elements. It's not um, mixed in with a bunch of other stuff. Like this obviously is not gonna fill up a tote or a, one of the big bags. So because I wanna be able to potentially access it here in the next month or so, um, I'm just gonna split it into the shelter and let it sit right there on the floor. And then what I'll do is um, later on in the video, we'll do a moisture test, moisture check. Look at these, these crazy deer just coming in. We'll do a moisture check on this stuff and then see what it's at. So that's the plan for today. Split up this pallet of wood right here. This is like I said, one of the first trees. Um, the other tree that I brought back in the video when I went up there scouting uh, is right over there. I did buck that up. So I may get to splitting that, we'll see. I also had mentioned in the video about another neighbor that had reached out to me and I did go over to his place and he's got a big tree that came down. He said that was three years ago, they took it down and they actually bucked it up. So I have some of those pieces right there. Those are a lot bigger and they, um, I'm guessing are not gonna be ready to burn even though they've been bucked up for three years. So we're gonna also do another test. We're gonna do a test on those as well and see just how high a moisture is inside those oak rounds after being down and bucked for three years. All right, so here we go. Let's get ready to split this stuff up. The nice thing with this oak is, um, and a lot of those trees that were up there, they're not very, they're not huge trees. So like this, like I said, I think the max um, diameter is like eight to 10 inches. So a lot of this stuff here is just gonna be simple. One pass through on the four-way wedge, perfect. I'm gonna set you guys up here and let you watch the deer when I start this splitter up. See if it phases them any. See if they even notice. I guess they don't mind the sound of the splitter. <laughs>
All right, so I can already tell a lot of this is pretty much ready to go, ready to burn. Um, a few of those bigger pieces, the you know the eight, 10 inch stuff, that was, I think, gonna, I think that's gonna need a little more time. Um, everything like between six to uh, eight inches though, you know, it's all, it's all like this right here. Let me show you guys. Fifteen. That one's a little high. Um, I can tell this one's going to be a little high. Oh yeah, look at that, forty. <laughs> but then let's check this one here. Fourteen. Oh, twenty-five. All right, so that stuff wasn't too bad. Um, a lot of the the smaller diameter stuff um was actually pretty dry between twelve and fifteen percent, kind of on that average. Um, but then some of the bigger stuff, um, I can you can just tell by the color; it's a little darker color, and that stuff was pushing mid 20s even some 30s there's even that one piece that was 40 so some of it's not ready um some of it is but that's a good spot for it right there now let's check out that big piece one of these pieces right here these things are um probably about 17 to 18 inch diameter and they like i said they you can see how they look I mean, it just looks like, you know, they've been sitting, they look old, they look dead. They've got mushrooms growing on them right here, back here. And this stuff is all just gonna be for my uh, boiler wood, my personal use. So I'm not too concerned about, you know, how it presents. I mean, I could shave off the edges and see how it looks in the middle and then maybe sell that, but for the most part, this is all just going for me. But now here's where a lot of people will look at these and think, God, that wood's gotta be dry. It's just a big chunk. It's been sitting out for years. It looks, you know, the outside looks dead and starting to rot. It's gotta be dry. Let's find out what it's like in the center. Any guesses? So this thing is looking like it's starting to get a little punky in here. It's still solid, but it doesn't have much much time left before it would be going just completely to waste. But let's see here. Thirty-two. Over the limit. Over the limit. Thirty-two.
So you may have noticed with these big chunks, I'm kind of splitting them, kind of slabbing them almost. And I just want to try this out to see because I've heard that oak will dry an inch a year. So if my thought is if I expose two sides and they're about an inch, a little over an inch thick, then in a year, this stuff should dry down. I was actually pretty surprised those five rounds almost filled up that IBC tote. So there was a lot of wood in those five rounds. And there's a few more like that over there to get from the other neighbor. So the wood that I got from my one neighbor, the, uh, the smaller tree that was dead standing that came down, this stuff, for the most part, a lot of it's ready to go. Those bigger chunks that I got from my other neighbor, they will not be ready to go until probably next year. Like I said, I'm gonna give them a year, um, split in those like smaller, or not smaller, but thinner slabs and just see how that goes. It's just something I've been trying, kind of wanting to try out. So instead of just chunking it out in the, you know, big firewood blocks, I'm just gonna give that a try. Um, but like I said, there's more of that wood to get from my one neighbor to the west. And then my neighbor to the east has got all those trees that came down or laying down bunch that need to come down it's just it's there's a lot of wood over there i was i was surprised at how much um there's going to be to get so now i've got a little wood in the shelter here ready for the roadside stand if needed um, and i've got almost a full tote right here to store away for next year so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed we'll see you next time stay safe have fun and be cool